Hi everyone, welcome to Zerodha.com. My name is Hanan and this is a quick video on how you can open your account completely online. Now if you're new to Zerodha or if you've just heard about the markets, you should check out our products page to learn more. Now before we get started in opening your account, you need to have the following documents in place. You need your PAN card, your Aadhaar card, you need a cancel check, a photo or scan copy of your signature, and your income proof if you wish to trade futures and options. Now your income proof can be your Form 16, your IT acknowledgement copy, your six-month bank statement, or any of the above. Once you have all these documents ready and you have your mobile number and your email ID that's the same with us and with the Aadhaar database, you can go ahead and get started with the process. Click on sign up now, key in your mobile number, and hit continue. You receive a six digit OTP on your mobile number. Key in that and hit confirm. Now you have to verify your email address. Click continue and enter your six digit OTP that you receive on your email. That's done. And now let's start with your PAN. Make sure you key in your PAM exactly as per your records, followed by your date of birth. Select the information accurately, accept and continue. Now you have to make the payment. We have multiple payment options, which is UPI or net banking. Go ahead with the payment. Now you're taken to your bank site where you complete the process and get back onto Zerodha's site. Done. You've made the payment. Now you have to connect to DigiLocker. You have to share your Aadhaar details with DigiLocker. Sign into your DigiLocker account. If you don't have the DigiLocker app, download it and key in your mobile number and sign in with your OTP. Now DigiLocker is a government initiative where you can save all your important government authority issued documents online and share it with the relevant sources whenever you need to. Key in your OTP and hit continue. Enter your security PIN. Now, if you don't have your PIN, you can click on Forgot My PIN and reset it. Allow Zeroda to access DigiLocker and share a copy of your Aadhaar. Now, you can check your Aadhaar details. And now, you have to enter your personal information. Now, enter your bank account details. Make sure the information you're entering is accurate. You don't want to put in the wrong information because that's going to affect everything. Now you can see on the right side, your details have popped up, your bank details. Now enter your background information. Make sure you choose all the options, read the information, select all by clicking the check boxes, and then finally hitting continue. Now you've come to the IPV page, that's in-person verification. Please have a paper on which you can write your OTP. Allow Zerodha to access your webcam. Make sure you've written the OTP on a paper and hold it in front of you, just like this. Save your IPV. Now use Aadhaar to e-sign your application form. Upload the relevant documents, which I asked you to keep handy at the beginning of the video. Now your income proof is optional, but I would upload it because I'd like to trade F&O, your current signature and your PAN copy. All of these soft copies have to be uploaded onto Zerodha and then you click e-sign equity this takes you to the nsdl page where you have to again continue by verifying your email id key in the security code hit submit scroll down and check your form sign now now again you get to the otp this might be your last otp enter your aadhaar number enter otp and hit submit You've signed your online application form. Now you can go back to your dashboard and download the nominee form if you would like to add a nominee to your account. And we'll send you information as soon as your account is open to get started.